My next guest, a terrific actor. He stars at a company called the Nerd Machine. <laughs> he'll be at Nerd Headquarters. You know, at Co he'll be at Comic Con next weekend, is what I'm saying. Yeah, Comic Con. Comic Con. Comic -Con. Did the, did the music guy leave? Yeah. <laughs> and like, well, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> Zachary Levi, everybody, Zachary Levi. Zachary, if I may compliment you on your suit, I will. It oh. is spectacular and matches your sneakers. I do. I wear great sneakers with a great suit. I it, find that comfortable. Well, yes. You, you certainly look like a gentleman that's on his way to an important meeting and he's got things to do. <laughs> yeah, it's called a talk show. <laughs> oh, I think you've got the wrong place. Oh, for <laughs> No, 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 no. So you're going to be at the Comic-Con. I am. I love that you try to use your Jedi mind, mind tricks on the audience. And everybody's like, I'm not going with this. I'm no, not, no. Yeah. It wasn't. That was my Game of Thrones thing when I go, Game of Thrones. Oh. Oh, yeah. Do you watch the Game of Thrones? I, I love Game of Thrones. Well, yeah. see the thing? I got a heart because it was announced today that I'm hosting the panel for Game of Thrones. Are you really? I am. I'm moderating. That's fantastic. Thank you. I'm very excited about it. And then people on uh, Twitter were like, you don't even know Game of Thrones. I'm like, shut up, people on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. How, do they, how would they know that you like or do not? Yeah, apparently Game they've been around to my house and they've checked the history on my... <laughs> <laughs> That's not creepy at all. No. <laughs> I know. Maybe it was just one person and I focus. I focus on negativity a lot. Do you do that? Uh, it's, it's hard not to do. You, mm. Twitter's like this open forum where people just want to either, like, give you love or eviscerate you. And it's tough to not look at that one person and be like, listen here, you jerk. Well, th this is the thing. When you look at it, you see the fly, you don't see the ointment. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Your eyes always, like, if I, do you ever do this when you see an audience and you think everybody looks great and then you find the person that hates you and you zero in on that person? <laughs> do you ever do that? <laughs> Pointing out this individual right yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, do, do you, do you no, focus? It's, it? Yeah, it's very tough. I mean, I think particularly, I, I think working in entertainment, you really mm. put yourself out there. I mean, literally with live audiences and, and cameras that go to the world. And you hope that, you know, people don't just tear you down. And, and unfortunately, people will like to do that. And I think what it is, I think that you, anyone who performs is just manifesting some form of self-hate. Re really? Is that why? Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of like the desperate search for approval. I mean, I definitely think that there's a lot of approval and validation that you try to find. In well, I feel like I've failed. No, I think you're doing a fantastic job. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> now, you started uh, nerd, uh, Nerdcom. I started uh, the Nerd Machine. Nerd Machine. Which it. is like a lifestyle. Comic-Con at Nerd. Nerd Machine at Comic-Con. <laughs> yeah, it's very convoluted. Uh, sorry. Uh, it's all right. I'm very drinking old. out of a rattlesnake. This yeah, has got to yeah. be very convoluted. <laughs> Uh, so Nerd, Nerd Machine is like a lifestyle brand apparel for nerd culture. Uh, kind is of that, that a Nerd Machine suit? This is not. This is a Vivian Westwood. I wish, okay, I, wish yeah. I made this. Um, and, uh, and then we started Nerd HQ as kind of a way to activate the brand. But, but Nerd HQ is like it's become its own thing. It's like panels and photo booths and signings, all like celebrities and fans coming together uh, and raising money for charity and lots well, of video you see, games. You, you used to, the, the word nerd used to be an insult, but it's not an insult anymore, is it? It's I don't, a compliment. No, I think that people have really embraced that entire world. I think, you know, and for us at the Nerd Machine, we've been trying to redefine it as well because I think that being a nerd just means that you're passionate about something. Everybody's nerdy about something, so, you Sex, know. Sex, probably. People are quite nerdy. <laughs> I'm a real sex nerd. nerd. Sex. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they are. Well, probably. You know, I mean, you know, people enjoy the things like that, don't yeah. they? I've heard. What are, you, what are you nerdy about? What are you passionate about? Aviation. Really? Yes, I love oh, a bit of aviation. Do you have a pilot's license? I do have a pilot's license, yeah. How often do you go out? Um, oh, in a plane? Yeah, in a uh, <laughs> not, not often. Uh, not often recently. I haven't done much, but I'm always, I'm always like uh, websites with planes and looking at planes, and I, you know, I go and hang around airports in a dirty Mac. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. <laughs> it's a little bit creepy, but uh, I no, I just I'm fascinated by aviation and, and the, the history of it and the and the various uh, manifest like. How the did weekend. you get into that? Like when you were a kid? Well, because you know I was terrified of flying, so in order to combat it, I I took a uh, you know I, I got a pilot's license. Yeah, it's another another manifestation of self hate. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> what are you nerdy about? 
Um, I mean, I don't know. When I was a kid, I was really nerdy about pretty typically ner nerdy things like comic books, video games. And, right. And now I'm still a little bit into that stuff. But uh, technology, the future, like I have a subscription to Popular Science. I love science. I love where we're going. I, I, I mean, if, you know, I'll, I'll go through the magazine. If it's like a new way to chop bread or hammer nails or flying cars, I'm into all that kind of stuff. I just like, I like, I like knowing where we're what going. What about the, the Dyson ball vacuum? Is that a... <laughs> I have a few thoughts on this, Craig. Yeah, yeah. Um, does, 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 does that actually work, or could no, you hurt yourself? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't. I don't own one. Do you own one? Yeah, I do actually. Do you? Yeah. And and what is it like to vac one's balls? Well, exactly? it, <laughs> it's it's. Uh, well, let's just say, let's just say, I'm a bit of a nerd about oh. it, actually. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. No, oh, um, I do have. A, I think I have it somewhere. But you, so technology excites you then. Why didn't you become a, an inventor then? Uh, uh, <laughs> that's way too much work. Chris. Well, there is that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, falling into acting is way easier, or not. Uh, it's actually quite strenuous. But interestingly, but you kind of that. I mean, Chuck, which is the part I, I know you from. Yeah. The, the, uh, that's kind of. It seems like an appropriate. That part for you then? How much of that was? Chuck was a. It was really kind of a dream job because I didn't really feel like I was acting so much as just being myself, and cameras were on me at the same time. Yeah. Uh, nothing, but, nothing creepy about that at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. Um, anyway, so yeah, but it was great. It was. It was. Uh, I. I really loved uh, the character. He had a good heart, and he was always trying to help people and protect mm. his family. And plus, you know, there was all kinds of really hot chicks. A lot of hot. <laughs> and we, we don't and say guns and action and all that and kung fu. And yeah, that's that get that's entertainment right there. When you get very attractive women in tight clothing and a bit of kung fu, I I'll probably watch. That's on yeah. that's, that's a winning formula. That's right there. I think we've discovered a new form of entertainment. <laughs> well, we're out of time. Oh, that's too bad. You want to do my special new hair dance? <laughs> Let's. I was so jealous that you and Margaret got to no, do this. No, no, you can do it. Let's do it right now. Zachary, leave everybody. Let's do this. <laughs> Welcome Yvonne Strahovski, everybody. Yours, man. Welcome, Yvonne. How are you? I'm good. Good. Did I get it right? Strahovski? No, Strahovski. Strahovski. Yes. Yeah, that's... Uh, was that Scottish? No. Uh, <laughs> Wow, how did you know? No, well, it's Polish. Polish? Yeah. That, but you're, your accent doesn't sound very Polish. You no, know? I'm Australian. You are, what is the deal yeah. with all the actors in Hollywood are Australians? We're good, aren't we? You're very We're good. very good. Do you have that way of talking that it sounds like a question? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we often go up when we speak at yeah. the end of our sentences. Why is that? I, I don't know. I think it's I because know. you're from the other side of the world. And we stand upside down. Yeah, as where well. things are the normal rules don't apply. No. <laughs> also, also you've got the deadly animals in Australia. We do. Yeah, so you don't know if you're going to make it from one moment to the next, so you better ask as much as you can. That's true, the snake. <laughs> What part of Australia are you from? Sydney. Sydney, I've been there. Yeah? It's very, yes, yes, I have. I, they've got the bridge there. Well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you travelled around Australia? I have. I've travelled up the east coast and south. And what, up I to do... Queensland? Yes, up to Queensland. There's a Queensland in LA if you're looking for one, by the way. Is there? Is it's there? a club. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like the travel? Are you an outdoorsy type? Do you like the traveling? I am. The I'm very outdoorsy. I, I do a lot of that sort of stuff. I rock climb and, and hike and camp. What do you do in L.A. then when you're here? Well, right? actually, I've, I've started horse riding. Really? In LA. Where? Yeah. Uh, just around Runyon Canyon, and, and there's a ranch at Malibu that I went to recently. Really? Yeah. You go riding around in horses? Yeah. Do you wear the Australian hat with the corks? Or the, no. I drape an Australian flag around my shoulder. That's nice. Nice. <laughs> That's the way to get noticed. That's what you want. Are you having a good time on the Chuck show? With it? A very good time. I love it. I get yeah. to, you know, kick a lot of butt, which is great. What'd you say? <laughs> I get to kick 
kick butt. Because like, like, if I can't understand you, there's not a chance in hell the Americans are going to. <laughs> well, I don't know how you're, they understand you. They don't You've understand me. Just, they, I, no, they don't understand me. They're just very charitable, and a lot of them are baked, to be quite honest. <laughs> so, it's just, they're just used to me now. That's it. I'm just, I'm just part of it. I'm like, you know, I'm like cartoons. I'm, they're not really watching. <laughs> Now, the, it's the, uh, uh, you're very good American accent. I had no idea you were an Australian until you turned up. That's do, good. Do they, t do they teach you this in Australia? I well, I, yeah, I went to drama school and I right. learned a whole bunch of accents. I even tried yours That's once. what I was about to ask. Oh. It, do you think you could do a Scottish accent? Uh, afternoon, ladies. That's how I talk in a Scottish accent. It's a little bit like that. Mother! But it's not... <laughs> That's amazing. It's very good. Really? Yeah, it's very, very good. You are to be complimented. Now, there's <laughs> another guy uh, on the uh, on the CBS uh, the CBS schedule, the the vampire detective. He's yeah. from Australia. Alex O'Loughlin. He yeah. is. His uh, his father and my mother actually know each other. They work together at a boys' school in Sydney. Really? Yeah. Did you ever date him? No, oh, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. No. Why no. not? I only just met him, and he's unavailable anyway, and he's not my style. What vampire detective? <laughs> <laughs> what is your style then, oh, questioning well, I, Australian I mean, I lady? I don't know if I should reveal that. Yeah, come on, nobody's watching. <laughs> Who, what, is, what is your style? What do you like? I don't know. I, I have a very uh, unique style. That's all I will say. <laughs> You only like one man. There, yeah, that's probably it. Yes, well, that's okay. That's good for you. <laughs> man, you're going to enjoy the talk show circuit a lot. Aren't you? <laughs> it's all right. No, no, no. So you like you like riding around in the horses with the Australian flag. I do. And have you thrown yourself? And uh, well, you probably surf, of course. No, I don't. Why I, not? Actually, I do a lot of adventurous things, but water is not one of my best friends. I'm, I'm not, not down with water. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do when it's thirsty time? <laughs> yes, I said thirsty time. Thirsty time. That's an interesting way to describe it. I know. It. It's, uh, I'm very high. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> What's in that mug? It's thirsty time, everybody. <laughs> No, no. So what do you do then? If you don't do the water, what do you do? It's climbing up rocks. I, yeah, I, I climb rocks and, uh, well, I, you know, I went, did the horse riding this weekend. I actually got bruised on my bottom very severely. I had Is to... that to do with the outdoor stuff or are you just something else? <laughs> well, the horse riding, it's the outdoor thing. Oh, the horse thing. riding, yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> of course. Well, listen, congratulations anyway on the Chuck Show. It's, it's a fantastic show. Very big. What's the name of the other guy who's on the show with Zach you? Levi. And he's very good as well. Will you yes. please pass on? He must be enormous because you're quite tall and he seems taller than he, you. Yeah, he's like that much taller than me. Oh, is he like eight foot tall, that guy? We're, we're a tall car. <laughs> yeah, you're and very Adam tall. And Adam Baldwin is very tall as well. Do they have to have special cameras that go up high? <laughs> no, it's funny. One of our camera guys is actually very tiny. So well, that's probably why you look up. tall because he's looking up to you with a camera. <laughs> that's like that. right. That'll be it. It's lovely to meet you, Yvonne. Thanks for coming on the show. Yvonne Strachowski. Strachowski. Yvonne Strachowski. We'll be right back. It's like you, everybody.